Guys, welcome back. We are in Komodo Island. Today is hot. Oh, I can't even walk on the street. My feet are burning and my feet never burn. What, Lord, what is going on? It's been hot, very hot. Like, like, ouch. Ah! Perfect day for the lizards to come out here, bask in the sun, go swimming. The pond's nice and clean. We just filled it up. Turtles are swimming. It's fresh. It's a hot. I'm going swimming. I don't even care, honestly, what the lizards do today because I'm just going to be in the water swimming. But we got a different lizard that's arriving today. Tarzan in the house. His name is The Real Tarzan. My man, The Real Tarzan, came down. 24 year old Michael Holston out on the water at night. With its scenes of charging rhinos, savage pygmies, and the great hunter. Tarzan. We got a lizard delivery, but not your normal lizard. Yo, I didn't know this is big. I didn't know it was this big. Yo, this is big. Yo, this is Tuatara. It's like the ultimate electric safari vehicle. The animals can't even hear you coming up. We can sneak right up on them. It's got a lizard on the front. It's got two lizards on the front. It's got a wench. This is great. One lizard, two lizards. I just gotta put a lizard up there or something. Shit. It's only, it's only right. Bro, it's got lights up like you can see everything at night. Not to mention the windshield wipers. Not to mention you hit this freaking lever. Bro, sick! Look at that! Bro, what a vehicle. It's lizard time, let's go. Yeah, I'm just watching this guy. It's his first time outside. I'm in this big area. I've only actually held him twice. He's a good boy. He just gotta make sure he doesn't try to go inside there and hide all day. And trying to defeat the purpose of doing uh, his enrichment. Uh, no, you're not gonna go in here. He knows too. He wants to go in there and hide. No, 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 no. no. We're going out inside. That's why I focus on him just chilling versus trying to go hide. What are you doing, man? Hey, it's okay. I know it's scary out here. I know it's your first time. I know you see somewhere to hide, but today's a good day to socialize. Today's a good day. I don't want to have him freak out too much and it'll be a bad experience and he won't want to come outside anymore. You know, you gotta kind of build that trust. We built trust already, which is why he's like, letting me pet him and put my hands next to his face and all this stuff. But 
in all reality, it's all a whole new environment for him out here. But he's doing really well. I think he's gonna do great. Um, just that initial, that initial start. Hi, right, bud. You okay? I would really hang out with you, but your nails are just too short for me today, man. Look at this guy, man. Full on chilling all the way on his tree stump. This tree stump gets a lot of heat because it's, of course, nice and black. And um, it, it generates a lot of thermal regulation for him. So they're gonna sit down here and just soak up. This thing is probably like 10 degrees hotter than the ground. A lot of new smells, a lot of new sounds, whole new territory. I'm pretty sure he, you're gonna see his, his, uh, his dad for the first time. And uh, these guys are over there getting close. Check these guys out. I just know for sure this guy wants to go in here and hide. And I can fit in here, but I really can't. And I don't want to be stuck in this little tree stump with this guy. There he goes. He is so beautiful. Gosh, I love him, man. It's the first time father and son are meeting. You have all this rock to climb when you want to walk right on top of your father. How rude. I think he's trying to figure out if, he's, if his dad's a female or not. That's what he's, that's what he's doing. I think your dad's going to like that. So what he wants to do is he wants to mate but it just figured out that that's his father. So, pretty sure he smells a mess. So, I would you step on his head? Do you guys think? Hmm? See your father? Uh-oh. Look at this. Come here. Oh, cut it out. Look at, would you look at that? Holy, you got a bigger boy up here, huh? Sensory overload, lizard alert. I'm like really enjoying this right now, actually. I just want, I don't want these guys to wrestle. Right, these guys might wrestle because this guy's big. This guy wants to dominate. <laughs> They're like, what is going on? What's up? What's up? So I just introduced three males, it's probably not the best thing to do. Um, they're smelling each other, they're sniffing each other, and this guy wants to bite them. So he's going to get out of the party. It's not his fault I shouldn't be putting these three big males up here anyway. It's either they're going to wrestle or... Wrestling's fine, but we don't need no actual mouth biting over here. And this guy is going for it. Look at him. He's not being nice. Gotta watch that mouth and see what he does. You don't want to get in between ah, a lizard fight. All right, you're gonna go swimming. Your party time. You're gonna stay there or what? Because now you're acting like you want to bask. You got a little bucket or something? It's a lizard car wash. Yeah. This is a car wash. We're talking about a lizard car wash, yeah. Ooh. This is dirty. Freaking disgusting. I'm watching you guys. I know you're in your basking mode right now, but you wasn't a few seconds ago, so I'm watching you. Funny how he smelled his son, didn't try to bite his son, and smelled this guy, and was like, I'm gonna bite you. Hey, no. Don't do that. No. Oh, no. I see you. Let's go. You're done. Your playtime's over. Wrestling's fine. Biting's not fine. We don't want lizards biting each other. 
I trim their claws so their claws aren't too sharp. So they're not gonna rip holes through their brother's skins. Even though they're not brothers. This guy's nails, they're usually sharp, but they're just so long and thick. He's like another level of thickness. His head's bigger, his neck's bigger. This guy's got some girth to him and some strength with it. This is two different levels of lizards. Even this guy's a different level than I wouldn't say he's below, but he's definitely below his son. Don't tell him I said that. A little bit of soap. I always use Dawn dish soap on this. Safe for reptiles. You don't want to get it in their mouth or their eyes, but of course, it does not affect their skin whatsoever. This guy is actually bone white, but he's just so dirty. You know how he's gotten himself in such a filth. But you guys see, it stops getting him fresh and clean. probably wondering why is this guy washing a lizard well first it's an albino so the albino usually gets dirty and usually what they say if a dirty lizard if a lizard's dirty it's a happy lizard or a dirty lizard's a happy lizard they like to dig you got a lot of dirt in his cage that's going his water bowl so i'm not surprised he's so dirty i'm just surprised i haven't washed him up so much since our last swim and he's also shedding so it might not even get fully cleaned today. Well, let me get out your eye. I don't want to get it in your eye. You're good. I didn't get it there. All right. All right. <laughs> he's, he likes, he's like, I smell that soap. What is that stuff? What is going on? All right. What are you doing over there, Curious George? You're not even dirty. Guy's still dirty. <laughs> These guys are so funny. What are you doing on top of them? What are you doing? It's like, oh, I'm the big dominant boy. Or oh, whatever. Well, he's not going to get much cleaner today now that I can see that it's, he's actually in mid shed. So. What? What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Hmm? All right, guys, so what you're witnessing is two alphas, father and son, smelling each other, hanging out, testing the waters. The son's like, hey, I want to wrestle. Dad's like, bro, you better back up, son. Look here. You'll see actually how white he is and yellow he is underneath this shed. So he's in the process of it. But this guy got some pieces, too, if you look over here. I'll peel this off and you'll see that those pieces of shed come off. Look at that yellow. Boop! Look, 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 look. Ooh, it's so satisfying. Hey, why don't you, why don't you get, why don't you start with me? What? I'm just trying to get the shed off your head. Look at those good pieces, man. Good looking lizards. Hey, now I'm gonna get on top of you. How do you like that? See that? Lizard communication. So you're on my tail. 
it's probably gonna wrestle. Like, get off my tail, man. But you was all up on top of him the whole time. You didn't think about that, you're just being rude. Look at him. I wanna go back on top. You see these tongues are just constantly going, they're smelling each other. They know they're not females, or he would always be trying to mate her. Um, now he's just trying to figure out whether do I want to bite this guy, do I want to wrestle him, do I want to be his friend. Um, I wouldn't say they're not communal because I've seen these guys in, you know, sharing the same water hole or area. And of course, I don't know if they're males or females, but there's some good, decent sizes out there. And uh, taking these guys are a bit kind of on the socialization side. Um, they're, they're doing fairly well with being two males in the middle of summer. Um, you'll see these head movements. That's just lizard communication of like, hey, basically talking, hey, what's up? How you doing? You got a problem? No, you got a problem? You want to mate? You don't want to mate? You want to fight? Can I bite you? I smell you? And uh, usually um, if one's doing the head movement, when the other starts doing it, that's when they're like kind of like replying, you know? But he's not getting much traction out of him or much movement until he got on top of him and he was like kind of starting to freak out because he's trying to do the dominating but this guy doesn't really care he's like you know he's big he knows what he has this guy's trying to prove himself whereas this guy has nothing to prove that's why he's so calm cool and collective so these guys will fight each other in the wild for territory um, just for mate just for food just for the fun of it um, there's plenty of videos of lizards at the beach or in a watering hole just straight up wrestling um, they do, they can and will bite each other and scratch each other, but I mean, lizards are dinosaurs, bro. They don't really have a, I wouldn't say they're immune to that stuff, but they heal up so fast and so well. Um, they can do some damage to themselves, but if you guys look now, he's doing all that communication because the lizard has now stepped on his tail. So he's like, what's up with that? You want to step on my tail? Why are you doing that? And the, the big guy's like, I don't really care what you're doing and what you're saying. You know, that's what's going on right there. Now usually if this guy's replying back, that's when they start bickering back and forth and an argument happens. And then a wrestling match or a bite or some shit like that. And look, he's down there smelling, he's like, what? That's a male, it's not a female. They're so smart and so intelligent. That's why they keep circling and going on top of each other. I'm dominant, I'm gonna rub my hemipenes on you and you're gonna rub your hemipenes on me and I'm marking my territory. I'm the big lizard, no, I'm the big lizard. He's showing he's a big lizard by just kind of sort of ignoring him. And then when he steps on the top of him, this guy freaks out because he knows this guy's bigger. So that's another reason why they get on top. They want to feel each other out like, hmm, are you, are you healthy? Are you, are you strong, you know? Um, and then they'll commence to fighting over territory. And usually they'll, you know, the big ones will go up on a bank and there's another, another one, he'll go in the water. He's like, I don't want to fight Fred today or whatever they have for names for each other out in the wild. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him. He's getting in there trying to smell. So funny, bro. So funny. For a lot of these moments, I just sit down and watch them and study them and learn about them. Pick off their skins and figure out, try to figure out what they're doing to each other, how they're communicating, because it's, it's fascinating to me to see their thought process. This guy is uh, smelling underneath his arms and stuff like that. There's a lot of lizard experts out there, so if anybody's watching this and you care to know um, what is happening, let me know. Learning, man. I want to learn something new every day. But I love to observe, too. I love to just watch stuff. It's not really intervene with it unless I have to. Okay. Right here, we have an interesting display of what, I don't even know, this guy wants to fight and wrestle. What is going on here? Enough is enough, fellas. Hey, hey, oh my God. God damn it. I knew he was gonna do that. Exactly what I thought was gonna happen. I tried to prevent it from earlier. This guy got bit by Sammy, the not so friendly one. This guy still wants to hang out. I hope this guy will get in the water because he's probably just freaked out now. This guy's looking for him, so I kind of figured it would happen. Just wanted to prevent it. 
it's natural, you know, but I want them to get hurt. He's just, he's upset. He's, uh, his feelings are hurt. He's like, man, he didn't want to fight, you know, but when he's getting bit, he's like, I'm going to bite you back, you know, so now he's like coming over here. He's finding a little place away. They're so smart. If you, if you really think about what's happening, the sun's out. Of course, he's an albino, so he's sitting in that little duck off. He knows the other guys can't see him. He's going to sit over here and, and pout. He's going to get over it. And then I'm sure he'll start mobbing around. Yo, get the speaker box loud. Hitting that stuff till you hearing that sound. Get him to chill, and he's just floating. And they'll do that, they'll do that out in the ocean. These guys actually cross island after island after island in the Philippines and all those small little chains of islands all in Southeast Asia. So sometimes they get tired and they gotta just float. So what he's doing now, he's just floating. I brought him down to the beach in Miami a couple times, let him swim and get his uh, fix. Salt water, but look at him go. He's no stranger to swimming. And once he sees the shore, he's like, oh. It's, like, it's almost like he knows when he's deep and he's away from the shore. He's going to chill out and float as he can. Look. Oh, the shore. Or oh, a person. <laughs> okay. How was that, Sammy? Trying to get you a little wet so I can peel your skin off. Oh, somebody's ticklish. Oh, somebody's ticklish. First time climbing a tree. You like it? Pretty cool, huh? Let's in a tree. I said there's that little sweet spot, there's that button. You can hit that button, man. It's all about understanding the lizard. It just takes time and spending lots and lots and lots of quiet moments watching them. I've watched these guys in the wild, watched them in captivity for literally thousands of hours. I've watched these animals for years. Over almost 15 years I've been keeping water monitors in particular. So ever since I was about like 16 years old, I've been working with the same exact personalities over and over and over and over and over again and pushing those limits in swimming pools and climbing trees with them and feeding them and clipping their nails, putting them in unfamiliar environments, putting them in familiar environments. You know, it's been paying off, man. What do you think? Yeah, you like it? It's chill, huh? You're just freaking out earlier for no reason. Can't even enjoy the water. It's summer. Sick, huh? This is your Lizard 101. I know I always like talk a lot and try to get on the YouTube stuff, but this is where I geek out at, man, you know? Those personalities, they're like, like I tell you guys all the time, they're just like dogs. And you guys know I spend a long time, I spend more time with dogs than any creature on the planet. Probably more, actually more than humans. I spend more time with dogs, so. I've adapted my dog communication skills. Look at you. He took a breath in and he sunk. Yeah, 
Chill out. And I'll let him go. He, he hung out, he stayed, he relaxed. Now he'll get out on his own, chill on his own. Be a long track back to go meet his, uh, his brother it's in that corner and his dad's over there. So I'm sure he'll start sniffing around and going to monitor around on this little, little habitat and go do a lizard stuff. Guys, that about concludes today's episode. We got Sammy to swim. We got his son. What, what are we gonna name him? Can you guys comment down below? What should we name this guy? I don't know. I was thinking Bumblebee, but if you guys have any better suggestions, please comment down below. Let's get this guy a name. He's a part of our family, a little lizard family. We've got a lot more lizards in there. I can only manage three today. You guys saw the little quick fight and bite over there and another one over there. So imagine having six lizards out here. It'd be freaking madness. Imagine if I didn't trim their claws, how much scratches they'd have. Funny, how many, I, I have no, almost no scratches today because I trimmed this claws. She would have messed me up. This pool would be red, I'm telling you. But uh, look at him, He's chilling. Here at the wild jungle, I am signing off because I have to go wash a water buffalo. Peace. <laughs>